So here and, uh, I had a request uh, from someone to show them a little bit more detail about how to actually get the uh, Bixler 2 um, model information into the Phoenix Flight Simulator. So I'm just going to show you. Not everybody is uh, is very savvy in computers, uh, so hopefully this will help uh, you know that person and anybody else who needs it. So um, I have my CPO's officially unofficial Bixler 2 build log in RC groups, um, and so the reason I'm starting there is because I've basically provided uh, access to the uh, to the zip file um, that I found. It was posted on Hobby King. So rather than trying to tell you how to go find that, um, I basically just posted a direct link to it. Now I didn't create this file, um, but uh, it, it's been very helpful. So if you get to my build log, in the very beginning is uh, a list of parts that I'm using. So right after that parts list, um, you'll see a post that uh, has a video here of me flying my Bixler in the flight simulator. And uh, basically what I do is provide some basic instructions on how to get that in there. Um, and then right underneath the video is a link to that zip file. If you just click on that zip file, it should automatically uh, download for you. And uh, you can do one of two things. You can just open it or save it. Um, you know, I'm going to open it up. Windows knows what to do with a zip file. It treats it just like a folder. Uh, you may have to click allow uh, depending on your security settings. So here is uh, all of that information uh, that's in that file. There's basically two picture files. One of them is for the model picture as it's in flight, and one of them is a preview picture for when you're browsing your models in Phoenix. And the other one is just a configuration file. Um, if you right click on this, you can do extract all straight from here, and then you can go tell it where to extract that data. So click browse, and then what we're going to go to is computer, local disk, program files x86, and then Phoenix RC. And notice I'm either clicking the arrow or the, the, the name. It doesn't really matter. Resources. Uh, objects. And then aircraft is already expanded. And then fixed wing. And then we're just basically navigating through here. Electric. And then we will get to a point where we see Easy Star. So ignore the Easy Star Bixler 2, that's me playing around. Uh, but you will have an Easy Star folder in there. Now if you click on this, it will extract those three files straight to that folder. Now what that's going to do is overwrite any existing files you have in there. So if you want to preserve your original Bixler picture and, uh, and all that stuff, or, or your original Easy Star picture, then you're going to have to go in and, uh, and save off those older files before you get started. I'll show you that too, but most people are just going to want to replace the Easy Star with the Bixler if you're doing this, uh, because I don't see much value in flying the stock Easy Star uh, with no aileron or flap support. So anyway, once you've done that, you can click Extract, and basically what it's doing is uh, is it's going to copy those files. It says, hey, there's already um, an Easy Star underscore Bixler two PXV. Do you want to replace it? Well, that's because I've already done this. So. Uh, but to show you how much I trust this process, I'm going to say uh, copy and replace. Now, the easystarpreview.bmp, again, um, this is going to replace the stock preview. Um, so you have to decide if you want to do this. I see no reason to have the stock preview uh, anymore. So copy and replace. And there's going to be one more. And it's, this, is the, uh, this is the actual plain uh, pictures uh, as it's in flight that lays all over the model. So copy and replace all that. So basically, um, and you're going to need administrator uh, permissions because you're in uh, program files. But once I've copied all that stuff through, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, the model is now available to me. Um, and you can see all of this, uh, the Bixler 2, the Easy Star Preview, and the Easy Star BMP um, have been copied over. And then this is the folder structure where uh, all that is. So that's the quick and easy way to do it. If you did want to protect your uh, your original files for some reason, you can manually navigate there and uh, and just um, you know change them the file extension to dot old or something like that so that you uh, have them. Uh, the easy way to do that would be you could come down here uh, and then right click uh, and then open up Windows Explorer 
uh, and basically starting from wherever your default location is go to local disk C go to program files x86 go to Phoenix RC go to resources go to objects go to aircraft Thinking. Go to uh, fixed wing. Go to electric. And then as you can see, there's Easy Star. Um, so if I were to want to protect, say this was my original Easy Star BMP and Easy Star preview that I wanted to save, uh, you won't overwrite the the original uh, like the brushless and the standard uh, Easy Star configuration data. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. It's going to put in the, the underscore Bixler 2. But if you wanted to save your original pictures, you can right-click and uh, choose rename, and then just you know dot bmp dot you know old or something like that, and that will basically um, make it you know unusable by the uh, the program. The program will just ignore it from here on out, and then it will use when you copy in your new ones. Um, it will uh, it will use the new ones, but you can always revert back to the original by removing that dot old. So uh, at any rate, um, you know that's basically it. I would say most people that are going to want to fly the Bixler 2 instead of the Easy Star are just going to want to do what I did originally, which is just extract it straight into that folder, and then you'll be good to go. And then when you open up, uh, you know, the Phoenix Sim, you should see uh, those uh, models. All right, so. Uh, Hope that helps you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.